Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Apache Pig. Guys, in this video, I'll be uh, talking about evaluation functions. In the Apache Pig, we all know that the Pig ships with many different built-in functions and guys, learning these functions can save your time, especially when you do the data analysis part. So we must know how to use them, right? How, what are the, what's the uh, right or correct syntax, right? So for this, I've already have opened up the pig run shell. You can see in the local mode, right? So I'm ready with the implementation. But before this, uh, I'll be showing you the list of the functions for today's video. The, we the functions that I'll be covering up today includes average, concat, conc concatenation, count, in, max, min, size, sum, tokenize, okay? And for Im implementing these function, I'll be taking these as my base files, okay? Uh, guys all these files are available in my local file system right so let's start with this with our very first function called average we all know what is avg or average so let's uh, try to find out the average uh, of our given data for average i'll be using this file you can see it consists of total six records and it is consisting of three fields okay with the uh, the, the field uh, type are care array care array and float respectively so let's start first of all we have to create a relation i'm naming it as a for simplicity so let's load our data first it's available on my home location as already specified so home amrit avg dot txt using the default load function called pick storage specify the delimiter as comma and specify the schema i'm keeping the field names as a1 of type char array a2 of type char array a3 of type float all right done now in order to apply the average function first of all we need to uh, apply group by it is true for count max min sum as well let's apply the group by clause and i'm keeping the relation as b now for simplicity group a by i want to group a by field a1 done now let's generate the result with the help of for each for each b generate i want to generate a is a1 field okay and average of a is a3 field okay that's it we are done guys let's dump the result and we'll be getting our required result at the end you can see i got my average of root smith and clark right we are done now the second uh, function for today's video is concatenation we all know concatenation means concatenating concatenating the strings guys uh, for the concatenation implementation i'll be using the same file avg.txt because it's consisting of two fields of the type string or char array the very first two okay so uh, let's do it what i'll be doing i'll be doing little smart work here instead of writing the code again i'll be just loading it into a different relation name into d okay done okay so now for this straight straight away apply for each d generate what i want to generate i want to generate concatenation and let's apply let's specify the fields also concatenating a1 then this optional parameter available i'm also appending a symbol in between a1 a2 that's it so what i'll be getting as a result the a1 field hyphen a2 field together let's dump the e we should get our result that's it just see it's working right now the third function we got in the video is the count function okay the number of tuples i want to print with the count for this i'll be using this as a file you can see uh, all our integers let's load it load the data we got six records and three fields all are of type integer again i'll i'll be doing a little smart work here 
I'm taking it as F, okay? And the name of the file is count, we all know. So count.txt, uh, pick storage, comma is the same thing, but I'm keeping it as integer instead of care array. Second is also int integer instead of care array. So it will save a lot of time in typing the same com command again, right? Done, okay. Again for the count, uh, I have to apply the group by. So I'm keeping it as G. So group F by what? F by A1. Done. So alphabetically, I'm now going with H for each let's apply count now for each g generate count of f okay let's go for it now uh, in order to understand how the count is working first of all i'll be dumping g here let me show you the result the intermediate result that we got in g first in G, you can see I got three one three five seven. Uh, in the file, I got one three five seven as the unique result, right? You can see uh, one three five seven in which five is appearing twice and one is appearing twice. So one three five seven are the unique results, right? As per the data. So what I'm getting, I'm getting two tuples inside one, one tuple inside three, two tuples inside five, okay, and one tuple inside seven okay so what answer i'll be expecting i'll be getting i'll be expecting the result as two one two one okay so this is the reason i'm showing you showing you uh, in prior so that there'll be no confusion okay so let's go for it so i've already have generate i already have made up a relation h so let's now dump h so i'll be getting my result you can see two one two one I've already have told you what's the meaning of this 2121 one, because like inside one I got two records inside three one record in this way right so this is the uh, end of count now next function we got in function so what is in function we already have uh, made use of this in function in SQL as well so for this uh, for your understanding purpose I have already have written the statement so in function is used to reduce the requirement of multiple or conditions instead of using or multiple times like uh, let's suppose if I want to find out all the students who have got a CGPA 7 or 8 or 9 so I'll be writing uh, CGPA equal to uh, 7 or CGPA equal to 8 or CGPA equal to 9 so uh, there will be uh, unnecessary ors will be there uh, and a uh, optimal way is to make use of in function so for the in function I'll be using this as my uh, input data okay so I got uh, integer care array and care array respectively as a data types let's go for it so next relation i again i'll be using the inbuilt data so i'm keeping it as i now in dot txt and i got three fields a1 is of type integer it is of care array and it's of care array done okay we are done now let's apply the in statement right i've already have told you that in statement can be used if you want to uh, avoid unnecessary uh, results right unnecessary odds for this uh, i'm gonna use j as my relation name equal to filter filter i by a1 in I would like to print only uh, Joe Root and Kane Williamson right so I'm keeping it as 2 and 4 here so I would like to find 2 and 4 this is the simple meaning right done so let's dump the J and I'll be getting my result you can see two correspond to Joe root and four correspond to Kane Williamson, right? This is called in function. All right, let's move further. We got now max and min. Very simple. Max and min both are uh, actually the 
similar type of function in which we'll be printing the maximum and minimum for this i'll be using this as my input data you can see the type is a uh, care array care array and float okay so it is same as average so i'm already have the average data available okay and i'll be loading it here again okay so i'm keeping it as k as my another uh, relation name so for this i already told you i have to first bring in the group by so l equal to group k by a1 done now for each l generate max case we can add field maybe case a1 then max of case a3 right because a3 is con consisting of the numerical data so dump m you can see i got answer actually uh, if you see the this file right this one let me yeah you can see inside root i got two data 6.8 3.6 i got maximum 6.8 again in the smith i got 2.4 and 2.9 i got 2.9 and again against the clark i got 5.2 and 2.2 i got 5.2 this is called as this is my uh, required data right this is called maximum right in a similar way we can also go for the minimum let's go for it here only min dump m it's opposite right it's called minimum so if we got now max and min are both done right so next one is size so what is size as i already have specified in this file the size function is used to find number of elements based upon any pick data type okay so we got a size available let's go for it it's quite simple again uh, for this i'll be making use of the same file maybe i can apply it on this one only okay in data let me clear the screen already have this in available yeah this one right so i'm now uh, storing it in another uh, variable maybe n so n is my relation name uh, i'm loading the in data in the n here so let's done it now uh, let's apply the size as i've already have uh, specified the meaning of size the size actually help us in finding the number of elements based upon any pick data type right so uh, applying size is quite simple so let's do it so o equal to for each n generate size size of what i want to generate the size of maybe a2 okay dump of o you'll be getting my desired answer so let's let me show you again in the in i got smith of type which is consisting of five characters 1 2 3 4 5 i got answer 5 jo 3 3 virat 5 5 kane 4 david 5 so this is the meaning of size right i hope it's fine all right so now moving further so we are almost done the last uh, two are sum and tokenize respectively for sum operation again uh, it's quite simple it's equivalent of uh, max and min so i'll be using um this one
yeah this one right i'm naming uh, it as p okay the same file of average again we have to apply the group by q group p by a1 done so r equal to for each q generate p's a1 and sum of p's a3 right that's it dump r you see i got a answer the sum of root correspond to root the values that we got under root under smith under clark so we have done the summation so last point is tokenize the last uh, function that we are now left in this video it's called tokenize so what is tokenize guys uh, tokenize i've already have written the meaning tokenize function is used to split the existing string and generate the a bag of words in a result so for tokenize i'll be using this as my input data this is a big data channel aims to teach concept from scratch okay i got only one field of type char array in this case let's go for it load home amrit tokenize dot txt using pick storage as a1 char array okay uh you must be wondering that why i haven't used the pick storage because guys it's not required okay that's why i've just stopped okay while using this pick storage word i just stopped because of the fact i'm only have a single field okay the pick storage we use when we have more than one field available when we specify the limit the limiter between uh, multiple fields as we just have a one field okay that's why so let's apply the tokenize now uh, the data has been ready under the s so for tokenize i will uh, go for t again i'm going with the for each s generate tokenize tokenize of what tokenize of a1 as i'm only have a a1 available right done so let's dump the t i should get my data just see this uh, this is big data channel it means everything is now split it okay break broken down aims separate two separate teach separate right so this is the meaning of tokenize so guys i hope uh, with all these functions implementation i hope the concept is clear i've tried my level best to discuss in a easiest way as i can so that's why i just use these simple relation names and simple files right so do comment on this video and let me know how you find it thanks for watching guys see you next video